Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and the purpose of this video is to show you how to fix an issue where your executables just are not able to run. Now, oftentimes what you're going to do is you're just going to get an error message on it um, after you've been infected with a virus, and you're unable to install any executable. Uh, you'll basically get a Windows error that'll say, hey, um, executable isn't associated with anything. And this is actually a pretty easy fix uh, for you to do. And this is going to work for Windows XP, Vista, and uh, Windows 7. And basically, all you have to do is just right click on the file and hit merge. Then you're going to be asked if you want to go ahead and run the program and just hit run. Next, what you're going to get is basically a registry edit. It's a Windows message informing you that hey what you're doing could unintentionally cause damage to your computer and this is very very common whenever you're merging anything into the registry you're going to get this issue and you just go ahead and hit yes and then you should get this confirmation message saying that it has been successfully added to the registry now let's go ahead and this is something we you can take a look at we're going to go ahead and go under open with and open it in notepad and show you exactly what this file is and this is exactly what it's doing. Basically, it, it, it's reassociating the executables and telling your operating system, hey, this is how you open an executable. And this helps out whenever you're trying to install um, a security client. So let's say you're in safe mode and you're just unable to install any program at all. Now, it's very common uh, when you're infected, especially with malware or a fake security client, to not be able to install something when in regular mode because that fake security client is blocking you. Well, once you have to shut down that fake security client, if you're still unable to, this is what's going to fix it for you. And like I said, this has been tested on XP, Vista, and Windows 7, and we can't be held liable for anything, but hey, it, it's it's definitely worth a shot. It works in most cases. And in fact, I haven't had a case where it has not worked. And as you can see, it's really, really easy to run. And otherwise, you can always just double click it. If you double click it, it'll, you will get a, a publisher warning basically saying, hey, this isn't verified. And it de basically doesn't have a signature on it just because, hey, it's a homemade fix. And basically, is what it's going is it's just doing exactly that. It's just reassociating the uh, executable values in your registry. So you can run it as many times as you want. It really doesn't matter. It's just going to redo everything for us. And that is it.